square root of a number examples hello friends in this video we will see some examples of square root of a perfect square number and how to find square root by the repeated subtraction method using the repeated subtraction method find whether 121 is a perfect square number or not if it is what will be its square root you may pause the video here and solve the question yourself we know that for any natural number n the square of n is equal to the sum of its consecutive odd numbers up to 2n minus 1 so if the number 121 is a perfect square number it will be equal to the sum of the first n consecutive odd numbers and if we subtract these consecutive odd numbers from 121 we get 0 like 121 minus 1 equals 120 120 minus 3 equals 117 similarly we will continue to subtract the consecutive odd numbers which will give us 21 minus 21 equals 0 at the end this shows that the number 121 is a perfect square number if we do not get 0 at the end of this method then the number is not a perfect square number because the total of 11 consecutive odd numbers have been subtracted here the number 11 is the square root of 121. Let us now see the next example. The area of a square farm is 289 square meters. Can you find the length of the wire which will be needed to cover one side of it? You may pause the video here and solve the question yourself. It is a square farm. So we know that all the sides of a square are equal. That is, all the sides of the field will be equal. Suppose the length of one of its sides is S. Then the length of all the sides will also be S. So its area will be S square. To find the length of the wire, we have to find the length of one side that is S. The area of a square farm is 289 square meters which means the square of S is equal to 289. We have to find the value of S here. That is, S will be the square root of 289. To find the square root of 289, we will start subtracting odd consecutive numbers from 289. 289 minus 1 equals to 288. Then, 288 minus 3 equals to 285. Similarly, in the end, 33 minus 33 gives 0. Here we are getting 0 by subtracting 17 consecutive numbers. Therefore, the square root of the number 289 will be 17. Therefore, the length of the side of the square field will be 17 meters. This means the length of the wire to be planted on one side of the field will be 17 meters. Now, for practice, try to find the square root of these numbers using the repeated subtraction method. In this video, we have seen some examples of finding the square root of numbers and the repeated subtraction method. In the next video, we will see an interesting puzzle related to it. Thank you.